Hi, welcome back to the beginning hacking series. We're going to look at batch files today. So let's go ahead and open up a command prompt. So I'll go start, run, and CMD. Now when I go to a command prompt, it takes me directly to my home directory as administrator. I'm logged in as administrator on my virtual machine. All right, that path is a little bit long. You got the C colon backslash documents and settings backslash administrator. It just takes up space for me. I'm gonna choose CD backslash and go to the root of my C drive. Now I'm gonna make a directory called security. So I'll make a directory security and then we'll CD over to the security directory. Now I'm in security. The first thing we wanted to understand is what is a batch file? A batch file lets you run commands that you would normally run or that you sometimes run from command line inside of a batch or several commands at once from a single file. So if I say echo hello world, it gets, you know, hello world like this. So if I want to convert that over to a file, I'll say notepad test01.bat for batch. That BAT stands for batch, B-A-T-C-H. I go in here, create a new file, yes. And I'll say echo, hello world. Control S to save. Now I've saved my first batch file. I close it, I type D-I-R, and it shows me that I have test01.bat. Now I type test01.bat and I press enter. And look at that. Two things it does. One, it shows me exactly what came up on the screen. Echo, hello world. Next, it shows me what the result was. So in this case, I see both what the batch file is running and the results of what it just ran. Let's go ahead and do this again. Let's do notepad and we'll say test 01.bat and I'll save this as file save as test 02 in security test 02.bat and I'm going to put this in quotes now it's important that you put it in quotes if you do not put it in quotes it will save it as a .txt file click and that'll be a problem so now we have echo hello world I'm going to go right here and put a colon Hello, this gives us a little bookmark. This gives us somewhere to go back to in our batch file. And then I'll type go to, which where we go to, hello. Now, what this is gonna do is actually print some information on the screen. So from a hacking standpoint, it's gonna print too much information to the screen. So I'm gonna save, close this, and I'll type test02.bat. I'm going to control C, yes, terminate the batch job. I hit control C to terminate and I typed yes. So we can see everything it does here. We can see it says echo hello world, gives us hello world. Then go to hello and then back to echo hello world. It's actually printing what's going on inside the program. Well, if we're hacking, we probably don't want that to happen. So I'm going to notepad test two again. We'll save this as test three. Now I'm gonna turn off echo at symbol, which means don't even echo my echo off statement. Then we can put an at symbol there too if we want to. Hello world, and then go to hello. What I'm doing here with this at symbol is saying don't echo the echo command. And that at echo off says echo off for all the commands. A little redundant there with the at echo and at echo, but we want to be sure. So now I save this as test three, and you probably can guess what's going to happen. So I do test zero three, and we just get hello world printed on the screen. Now we can do this with anything. So if I notepad test three, and I change this, let's say file save as test four, I can start calc. So instead of echo hello world, I can start calc.exe, which is calculator. I don't have to change the hello and I don't have to change the go to hello because that's just our bookmark. That's just where we're going back to. 
did not. So what we we'll do is C colon backslash Windows Windows backslash System32. I think calc.exe. I think that's the full path. That's the absolute, not relative path for calc. So I save that, close it, and we'll do test04.bat, and it opens calculator. And it opens one, I close it, there it opens another, another, another. I try to go over here, control C, 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 then go back over here and close it, and it says, do you want to terminate it? Yes, I do. There we go. So that's the intro for how the batch file works and what we do with batch files to get them to maybe do what we want them to do. Next, we're going to cover converting a batch file to an exe file. And that might get, a, get rid of our ability to hit Control-C from the command prompt. Let's see what happens in the next video.